Now that we've created our project, our first step is to create our work breakdown structure. So let's start with creating a WBS. I highlight my project, right click on it, and open it. To open my work breakdown structure and begin building it, I can go to Project, WBS. You notice the blue icons here on the left. Those same icons are down here on my toolbar. I can select those. And now I've opened up my work breakdown structure or WBS window. I have my projects open, my activities open, I have no activities in there, and my work breakdown structure. If your screen doesn't look exactly like mine, let me give you a couple of hints that may help out. On your activities tab, this is showing the name of the project, which is the highest level of my work breakdown structure. If this is not showing on your screen, you can go to View, Group and Sort By. Once again, if you'll notice that icon, I can select the Group and Sort By button. Make sure that your Group and Sort By is set to Group and Sort By Work Breakdown Structure, WBS. Then your heading will show. And as you build the WBS, all of your headings will be built in the Activities view. So in my work breakdown structure, here is my highest level of the WBS, which is the name of my project. I'm going to slide my screen over to the right and start adding work breakdown structure. Now I have the work breakdown structure that we're going to use is on page 34 in your manual. To add a work breakdown structure element, you select the add You're here in the top right corner of your screen. I can add. And I'm going to add my first one from my list, which is Mile Milestones. Now notice when I added my first work breakdown structure that it automatically indented. So my first work breakdown structure was Milestone. I'm going to add another one. Notice it indented it, like I mentioned. I'm going to move that over to the left. And I'm going to call this Design. Let's add another one for procurement. I'm going to move it over to the left. Call it procure. I want to add another one for construction. Move it over to the left. Now you'll notice these are my highest level of work breakdown structures. This is my level one, as I would call it. Now, in your manual, you'll notice that in the construction, we began a new level of organization. I'm going to call this General Conditions. Now, after I've added one or two, I can just use my Insert key and add another one. Or site Work. I'm going to move it over to the left. Add another one. Building A. I'm going to move my Building A over to the left. Within Building A, I'm going to start breaking out my building into different components. I have Substructure, insert, I have my structure, I'm going to move it over to the left. Under structure, I'm going to add interior rough ends, I'm going to move it to the left, exteriors, move it to the left, and interior finishes. I want to add one more for my site finishes, and I'm going to move it to the left. It's actually not part of the building, I want to move it to the left one more. So once again, look at my work breakdown structure. If I summarize construction, I have four elements in level one. I have four elements in level two, general conditions, site work, building that I want to build, and site finishes. In my building, I have five categories. My substructure work, my structure, interior rough ends, exteriors, and exterior finishes. The more detail you have in your outlines, the fewer activities you have in your work breakdown structure, making it much easier to schedule. In all of your table areas, you can always sort by selecting a heading. This usually comes up in the work breakdown structure. In my classes, someone will accidentally hit a column and will lose their hierarchical view. 
Since it is hierarchical, I can sort by this column, view ascending, descending, and the third option puts it back in that hierarchical view. So if you lose your hierarchical view, you need to select that column heading until the outline shows up again. Now that we've created our work breakdown structure, we can look back at our activity screen and see all the headings. Now because I did some of my work breakdown structure out of order, my screen needs to be refreshed. I can refresh my screen hitting F5. And here is my work breakdown structure in my activities view. So I'm ready to start adding activities. 